The UN says around 300 people die every year from lightning strikes in Bangladesh. That's in comparison to fewer than 20 people annually in the US, which is almost double the population. Lightning is now considered a natural disaster in the country alongside cyclones, floods and earthquakes. Officials say climate change is leading to an increase in extreme storms, driving up the number of lightning strikes. Our correspondent Regini Vaidanathan reports from Bangladesh. A day of celebration turned into a lifetime of grief. Mamoon was due to get married when a storm struck. His family took shelter under a tin shed. It was hit by lightning. Instead of his wedding, Mamoon was arranging funerals. <laughs> I ran to the river bank and found bodies lying everywhere. I was at a loss. I couldn't even decide who to go to first. All the dead and injured were my close relatives. When I found my father's body, I simply burst into tears. Lightning is a big killer in Bangladesh, claiming more lives than floods annually. The government says extreme storms due to global warming have led to a rise in fatal lightning strikes over the years. A singed football shirt, a painful reminder of how deadly lightning can be. It belonged to Abdullah, a farmer who worked these fields when a thunderbolt struck him. <laughs> For his wife, Rahana, a loss that's hard to even understand. My husband fell down here when the lightning hit him. Some other farmers brought him to this roadside shop. By then, he was dead. This is an irreplaceable loss for me. He won't come back. How do I raise my little boy now? He's only 14 years old. Now, she's terrified every time she sees a cloud in the sky. The majority of victims of lightning strikes in Bangladesh are farmers. Working in the open, they're more vulnerable to the elements, especially in the monsoon months. Despite the risk, farmers here say they have no choice but to work these fields, even if it leaves them exposed. So what can be done to protect them? Well, the government says it's planting more tall trees to attract lightning and is developing an early warning text message system. But with hundreds of deaths in Bangladesh every year due to lightning, is that enough? It's hoped these workshops, run by a local lightning awareness group, can help educate people about what to do in the face of a storm. But for families like Mamoon's, it's all too late. 16 relatives taken by lightning. Regini Vaidyanathan, BBC News, Bangladesh.